Hey everyone, back to Nova 64 here, and today we're going to continue on some more Diddy Kong Racing games for Nintendo Obvious Consoles Obvious. Alright, so in this part we are actually going to head to the final world of this, this lovely game. So, um, let's finish this up, shall we? Oh, I thought I was going to get someone with that. Oh well. But yeah, this is it. This is it. This is the last one we need to take care of. Anyway, uh, in here in Space Dust uh, Alley, I think it's called Space Dust Alley. Yeah, it looks like an alley. Anyway, uh, they've actually made some modifications with the design of the stage and like added some pillars and stuff like that. It's a nice touch, quite honestly. It used to be just around here, but yeah, now it's around here. I feel like it may be a nuisance for like the balloon challenge, but I don't really think it'll be too big of a problem here. Oh god. You know, one thing I am kind of thankful for in this game is that you don't rec you don't really get pushed back when you hit something, but rather you get, uh, you just lose a bit of momentum. Oh, so you can hit those. So they won't be two in a way, since they will just bounce and bounce back. Uh, excuse me. Alright. This is a... Pretty much this is fairly the exact same. Some major changes... There's some minor changes to the design, that's it. But, uh, this is a... I could see this being a... Uh, uh, problem with the was it balloon challenge like I said before there might be a challenge with those pillars but no I don't really see it that being it being that big of a problem that's just about it anyway uh, one thing I did want to talk about is uh did they ever fix uh, Batman Arkham Knight for PC because like what is it I don't have it currently, and I'm not gonna spend uh, spend money on it until I know it's fixed. Pretty much, I'm one of those types of people. So yeah, uh, if it's been fixed yet, please let me know, so I could like head down and uh, be able to get the game and play it. Cause like I don't have like the PS4 version of it. I don't plan on getting like an Xbox One version of it or anything like that. I keep forgetting you can't do a flip in this game. It, it's, it's nudging my brain to do a, a flip for a finisher. Alright, next... Spa no, I don't want to skip to Spaceport Alpha, so... One thing I do like... About... About, like, this world, this applies to the DS version as well, is that you don't have to face Wiz Pig, like, twice, so you could just, so you, I mean, you don't have to face Wiz Pig once, just so you could, uh, unlock the balloon challenges, you just go straight to them. Kind of like the Silver Coin challenges of the, uh, original. Actually, it's exactly like that, it's just, you know, a different challenge. I'm kind of glad they didn't change this music too much because this is my favorite. Uh, this is my favorite music track in the entire game. So I'm kind of glad they didn't modify it too much, if at all. I power this up as I can. Protection, boys! Yeah, they barely modify it. It's just hard to hear because, like, I'm hearing through the TV and not the headset, so... Okay, huh. Alright, I know I'm gonna be able to get another upgrade around here somewhere. I saw, I saw another upgrade token. Yeah, see, it's right there. I just need to get it. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Wait, can I overwrite this? No, I can't. Because the... Keep in mind the missiles automatically... They'll 
off at someone, so you have no control over it. Just make sure you don't hit any walls. Uh, like that. I've already lost two out of three missiles. Great. Oh yeah, while that's going on, you can actually shoot more weapons, which is another nice touch. So you have protection of offense and defense. Alright, let me try getting that other one. Dang it. And I missed the boost too, and it's lacking. Alright, at least this will be a fair one. Oh yeah, the, the uh, computers don't get stuck in the loop like they did in the original, which is actually good because you won't be feeling like you're just laughing everyone. However, I do think it's still possible you can get uh, locked in that particular uh, portion. I'm obviously not going to try that, but if whoever, for whatever reason, wants to try it, go ahead and be my guest. Yeah, we can skip Spaceport Alpha. <laughs> uh, we'll go back there, don't worry. For anyone that prefers that stage. Oh, not bad. Oh yeah. This one, I actually like the modification in the uh, DS version because they actually put... A, a, what is it? Well, that. And they actually put a port on the bottom rail, which I think is also faster. Uh, not sure. Normally whenever the CPU takes it, it's usually faster, so... Maybe. Seriously, the music in Star City is always nice as well as the level itself. I mean, there's really no reason to go for these because, like, we're at the end, we're at the near end of the game anyway. But, eh, why not? Since I might as well be upgrading the one thing, the one last type of vehicle you need. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a blue balloon down here as well. Keep in mind, the bottom row was only in the DS version, so. Don't bother trying to find that in the original if you ever try to. Oh yeah, there's a... I think, yeah, this is a level that's compatible with the plane, I think. I could see this level being compatible with only, both planes only. Maybe. I know for a fact it won't be for, like, submarine or submarine hover or anything like that. There's not really much else I could say about this level. I mean, it's the exact same. It has a nice design touch to it. It actually looks decent. Like, it actually looks like a good stage on a DS. At least pretty good looking for its time. I could say that much about it. Uh, Alright, now we're out of here and uh, let's take care of that. Uh, enjoyable level, uh, Spaceport Alpha. Oh, God, please kill me. That, never mind, don't kill me. Uh, Spaceport Alpha's gonna get beat you to it. At least I managed to try going for a start this time. Holy crap, alive. Uh, oh yeah, they put a, like a little roof over here. A roof isn't that much, it isn't gonna save you that much because you never had the trouble flying it to begin with. Oh yeah, and this place is actually empty, so it's actually safe to go any route you want to. Despite the fact that there's obviously some ways to uh, 
to screw you over. Like, you saw that stuff on the wall, right? That stuff can actually shoot you down in the original, but for whatever reason, they're deactivated in this one. Either that, or I have to go through the first lap, and then they activate. And then, like, there's more that activates over time or something like that. I don't know. It's been a while since I've played this, and quite honestly, this is a lot. This last level, I mean, this last section of the game is something I actually kind of enjoy in this version of the game. It's not bad. I enjoy. Like, it's not bad. I don't really have any problems with it. I actually enjoy it. So, what's the problem with that? Oh yeah, this level used to be heck for the silver coin challenge. It's. N I wouldn't say it's not fun, but sometimes it can be not fun. What the? Of course, Tiny left him. Alright. Uh, was there any include? No, 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 I'm trying to think. I know Tiny Kong was in, like, Mario Super Sluggers, uh, Donkey Kong, uh, Barrel Blast. Yeah, was there ever any inclusion of her in the Wii, in any, uh, Wii U title? Like, any at all? You know, outside of being a trophy, of course, in Smash Brothers. The music is weird in this version, like... I know they have to change it so they don't have the same matching music, but... This is just weird. Oh yeah, I do like how they uh, changed the... One thing I forgot to mention, I like how they changed it from N64 to DS, like they actually noticed that, and they didn't just leave it there. Yep, let's do this. As soon as we take care of this, the finale will be based on, uh... Hmm. Yeah, okay. The finale will be, I think, the trophy race and whiz pick if the game doesn't force me to do whiz pick first. Because that was actually kind of a problem in the, uh, in the original version. And you know, what doesn't help about the, uh, the whole camera thing I was complaining about a couple parts back is the fact that in the beginning they can actually move the camera towards the balloons you can shoot at. But then the rest of it, you're pretty much on your own. Like, why? It's not like they, it's definitely not like they couldn't do it. Was there something in the back? Eh, screw it. I ran up these stuff. Oh. Okay. I missed a couple of balloons back there, but nothing. Too serious. I don't think I can miss too much, uh, too many others though. Aha, uh -huh, thought I didn't notice you. Crap, oh, not the last few seconds, not like this. I think I missed, wait, no wait, they're, they're still at the beginning. One more, one more. Uh, uh, there we go. Some easy money right there. Don't! Couldn't reach that coin. Like I said, the last section on everything at this point is actually fun. I'm not even gonna lie about this. This is actually what makes the balloon challenge actually fun. It's actually enjoyable, like you don't understand how much I actually enjoy this in the last section. But that's also the problem. I have to wait until I play through the rest of the game just to get to this point and then have any fun with this challenge. Cause like, despite the dynamics in some of the cases- Oh, Space Force Alpha! Uh... This is at least enjoyable to where I don't have to worry about the ca turning the camera too much, and I can still pop the balloons at, at my heart's content. So, the whole camera thing doesn't really bother me that much in these, in these last few tracks. 
kind of wish I could say that, like, I honestly kind of wish I could say the same, because this actually can be a fun mode, as you see I'm having fun with this. But, it's that, oh, there's a top section, I don't, I don't recall that. I mean, like I'm saying, this actually could have been a fun mode, but they put so much into it that takes that away. I don't know why it's going so slow. I mean, there's no balloons over here, if I recall. Yeah, no balloons. It seriously sucks that the, mo that the most fun I could have with this only lies in the last few sections of the game. You know those types of games where it's like, you have so you don't really feel, it feels like kind of a chore, and at the only time you're actually having some type of fun with the game, you're way past that you're near the end of it, or at least more than halfway through it. It's one of those feelings. Now let's get this over with. Comparing the other levels, this is probably the worst one, but this one's still enjoyable. I gotta remember those two. Or at least the one. I do remember a game where they left where they left the whole N64 stuff like that all over the screen, yet it was played on a different console. And I don't mean like it was like virtual console or anything like that. I mean like, they left the remake practically untouched. Well not remake, it was a port. They pretty much left the port exactly untouched without making any modifications towards it. Like, say well for instance like this game, it actually puts a... Uh, it actually says DS instead of just saying S64. Uh, this really does not look like enough, unless the balloons are hidden behind these things. Look at this, we're already halfway through the course and I'm missing a crap ton of balloons. I better go super slow. Well, maybe not super slow, but slow enough. Oh no. Come on, I know the I know the last bit's gonna be clustered with balloons. Oh. Wait, the last two? Oh, so close. I tried. All right, let's try it again. This time, let me get this balloon. There we go. At least I don't have to worry about that one. Did I pop two at once? I think I did. Oh yeah, there's Whispig's face all over the screen, like in pretty much any villain in any game. I don't get, like, I don't get that. Why did they have to put people, why did the villains always have to put their faces all over the, practically all over the screen in the last few sections of the game? I mean, their faces aren't that, like, aren't all that. I can't say the same, but still. I thought I saw a balloon up there. I'm not sure that when you fail you keep the coins. I'm pretty sure you do. But if you don't, uh, well. Oh yeah, I could have missed that balloon again. That's always nice. If I miss one, if I'm missing by, if I miss this by one balloon, I swear I'm blaming it on that one. Where is it? Where is it? Alright. Alright, last one, and that'll be it for this part. Oh, god, yep, this is the part I was talking about earlier with this being made for the flying section. It was made just for the balloon challenge. At least there's some good music to deal with this, so I'm not going to be missing out too much over here. Jeez, that's such a long reach. 
I can imagine a stylus having that much of a reach and oh that's kind of trippy in the actual on an actual DS but emulation wise it's I wouldn't say precise but it's a uh, heck of a I know for a fact that a native art would be a lot better for the pointing in an actual mouse click although it's not looking too bad Speaking of not too bad, this challenge is looking alright. That actually reminds me of an art that I met earlier, and there's the DS logo again. Like, there was an art that someone had of something like that, and it actually moved, like in this game. Oh, Rare, why must you put your name all over this? I mean, if you're proud of this, I'm glad, but like, if I made this game. Uh, probably not. I probably wouldn't be. So is it gonna force me to play Whizpig? Oh, it actually doesn't. Perfect. Alright, so in the next part, and in the finale of Diddy Kong Racing DS, we will be finishing up the game by playing the trophy race, and then Whizpig. So, is that Terminal City Board? So I don't think you guys for watching. So close!